The outbreak of COVID-19 caused tremendous changes in the lives of people around the world. One of the changes resulted by this pandemic is the way education is delivered to learners. To address such changes, San Fernando Elementary School introduced and developed Special TV, an education television-based program that aims to impart knowledge to children that can help them with their studies in this new setting. Multifaceted educational programs, Matalino, Filipinoy, The Adventures of Shen and Xia, and Exploring English with Elise provide knowledge and skills for core subjects, Mathematics, Filipino, Science, and English. These programs seek to take advantage of the current situation and elevate the standard of learning to the highest echelon possible. Behind Special TV are the people who chose to serve and provide service despite the threat and danger posed by the COVID-19 virus. They are determined to exhibit their passion for learning by providing quality educational programs aired by a certain social media platforms and television. They are modern heroes, real superheroes in the midst of the pandemic. the city of San Fernando and of course the, the learners of the city of San Fernando Pampanga, we dedicate the TV-based program, the special TV to all of you. This television-based program is for you.
The outbreak of COVID-19 caused tremendous changes in the lives of people around the world. One of the changes resulted by this pandemic is the way education is delivered to learners. To address such changes, San Fernando Elementary School introduced and developed Special TV, an education television-based program that aims to impart knowledge to children that can help them with their studies in this new setting. Multifaceted educational programs, Matalino, Filipinoy, The Adventures of Shen and Sha, and Exploring English with Elise provide knowledge and skills for core subjects, Mathematics, Filipino, Science, and English. These programs seek to take advantage of the current situation and elevate the standard of learning to the highest echelon possible. Behind Special TV are the people who chose to serve and provide service despite the threat and danger posed by the COVID-19 virus. They are determined to exhibit their passion for learning by providing quality educational programs aired by a certain social media platforms and television. They are modern heroes, real superheroes in the midst of the pandemic. the city of San Fernando and of course the, the learners of the city of San Fernando of Pampanga, we dedicate the TV-based program, the special TV to all of you. This television-based program is for you. Mga kapwa kong mag-aaral, minamahal ng mga guro at magulang, damhin po natin ang presensya ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng panalangin. Aming amang makapangyarihan sa lahat, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa buhay at kalakasan na patuloy ninyong ipinagkakaloob sa amin. Salamat po sa patuloy na pagsubaybay at paglingap sa amin lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Kami po ay humihingi ng awa at kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming kakulangan at pagkakasala na alam po namin hindi kalugod-lugod sa iyong banal na harapan. Dahil sa COVID-19, maraming pagsubok ang aming hinaharap, lalo na po ang aming mga guro. Salamat po sa kanilang mga buhay at kalakasan Patuloy niyo po silang pagpalain, bigyan ng karunungan nagmumula sa inyo upang kanilang magampanan ang mabigat na tungkuling na atang sa kanilang mga balikat. Bukod po namin inilalapit ang mga guro na nagpapagal upang sila ay makapaghatid ng mga educational videos para sa aming mga Fernandino. Salamat sa pagbibigay ninyo ng pagkakataon na mabuo ang special TV at ang iba't ibang programa sa TV at radyo upang kami ay matuto kahit nasa sarili kaming mga bahay, kasama ang aming mga magulang. Pagpalain niyo po ang lahat ng kanilang mga gawa upang ang mga ito ay makapagbigay ng karangalan hindi lang para sa mga tao, 
hindi mas higit sa iyo, Panginoon. Patuloy niyo po silang bigyan ng maayos na kalusugan, sapat na karunungan, at maalam na determinasyong maipagpatuloy ang layunin ng DepEd at ng San Fernando Elementary School. Hangad po namin ang inyong patuloy na pagmamahal at gabay sa bawat isa sa aming mga Fernandino mag-aaral at sa mga batang mula sa iba't ibang lugar na lagi sumusubaybay sa programang hatid ng Special TV. Patuloy niyo pong ibuhos ang kaalamang nagmumula sa iyo sa aming mga isip at puso. Salamat po sa regalo ninyong pamilya sa amin. Patuloy niyo pong gabayan at patnubayan ang aming mga magulang. Bigyan sila na sapat na kalakasan at karunungan upang kami ay maturuan nila sa tamang daan at makatuwang namin sa lahat ng oras at pagkakataon. Ama, tulungan mo po kami isa pamuhay ang mga aral na dala ng programang ito. Ang lahat ng ito ay aming dinadalangin sa ngalan ng inyong bugtong na anak na si Jesus. Sa ngalan ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Universal language 
is amazing. Listen, speak, read and write, know the language and use it right. Come along and join the least. She explores the world of English. Let us discover. Let's learn English. Welcome to Exploring English with me. I'm glad you're here again. I want to tell you about what I have read in my favorite English book. It is about our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. Really? What is that? I learned that he wrote two novels. He used these novels to make a protest on the wrongdoings of the Spaniards against the Filipinos. That's right, Elise. Can you name the title of the two novels? Of course! The titles of the two novels are Noli Metanghere and El Filibusterismo. You are so good, Elise. You have given right information about our national hero. Thanks to the selection I read from my English book, Gina. Elise, the selection you read is called an informational text. An informational text? Yes, it is a text or writing where you can get information based on facts, real events, or real people. Is that so? Is it different from the fairy tales I read? Fairy tales are fictional and do not really happen in real life. They are make-believe. That's right. Informational texts are based on real events and not just fiction. They present real information. They are not make-believe stories because they are based on facts and real events. I want to know more about informational text. Please tell me about it, Zina. If that is so, then close your eyes. Let's go and enter the happy world of English! Wow! What you see, Elise, are reference materials. Reference materials? Uh-huh. Reference materials are various sources that provide information or facts on any given topic. We can learn different information from them. What information can we get from them? Teacher Joy will be here to answer all your questions. Bye for now, Elise. See you later. Hi, Elise. Hi, kids. It's nice to see you all. Hello, teacher. It's nice to see you too. I heard all your questions to Gina. I'm here to answer all of them. So listen carefully. Can you see all these materials, children? These are reference materials. Reference materials are various sources that provide information or facts on a given topic. Take a look at these reference materials again. This is an autobiography. It is a written record of the author's life. This is a history book. It is a book that contains recorded past events of a country or place. This is an instructional manual. 
it is a book or booklet that gives detailed information about how something should be done or used or operated. This is a textbook. It is used as a standard work for the study of a particular subject. This is a science book. It is a work of non-fiction or real information usually written by a scientist, researcher, or professor. Other reference materials where you can get informational text are magazines and newspapers. From these reference materials, you can get real written information and this information is called informational text. Informational texts are non-fictional writing which are based on facts, real events, and real people. The purpose of the author or the person who wrote the text is to inform or give information about a certain topic. Kids, take a look at this picture. Do you know who he is? Great job! He is Dr. Jose Rizal, our national hero. Let us read and understand this text about him. Jose Rizal, Life, Works, and Writings by Gregorio F. Zaide. Jose Rizal was tagged as the national hero of the Filipino people. He was born in Calamba, Laguna on June 19, 1861. His parents are Francisco Mercado and Teodora Alonso. He wrote the novels Noli Metangere and El Pelobusterismo to expose Spanish colonial abuse in print. He died fighting for our country. Gregorio Zaide wrote this text for us to know about Dr. Jose Rizal's life and his contribution for our country. Now, let me see if you can answer my questions about the text. Number one, who wrote the selection? Amazing! Your answer is correct. The author of the selection is Gregorio F. Zaide. Number two, what is the selection all about? Great job! The selection is all about Dr. Jose Rizal. Number three, what does the author give us? Fantastic! The author gives us information about Dr. Jose Rizal, such as his birthplace and birthday, his parents' name, and the two novels which he wrote to expose Spanish colonial abuse, the El Pelibusterismo and Noli Metangere. With the information provided, the text Gregorio Zaide wrote is an example of an informational text. Now, let us see if you can identify each sentence as correct or not correct about Dr. Jose Rizal based on the given informational text. Welcome to Exploring English with me. Answer me with a yes or a no. Kids, show what you've got! Number 1. Jose Rizal is our national hero. Awesome! This information is correct. The answer is yes. Number 2. He was born in Kawit, Cavite. Two thumbs up! The information is not correct. The 
answer is no. Dr. Jose Rizal was born in Calamba, Laguna. Number 3. He wrote the novels No Limitangere and El Filibusterismo. Awesome! This information is correct. The answer is yes. And number 4. Jose Rizal was born on June 19, 1961. That is right! The information is not correct. The answer is no. Dr. Jose Rizal was born on June 19, 1861. Great job, kids! You were able to distinguish which among the given information are correct and which are not. Here is another informational text from the book Developing Reading Power. The Body Systems by Concordia C. Logue. The body is a living machine. The parts of the body are grouped into systems. The bones make up the skeletal system, serving as a framework for the body. At birth, a baby has about 350 bones. As he grows, many of the bones fuse together. An adult has only 206 bones. The skeletal system is bound together by muscles. Muscles keep the bones together and help move the movable bones or joints. The lungs and the windpipe form the respiratory system. Air enters through the nose and the mouth. The heart, blood vessels, cold arteries, veins, and capillaries are part of the circulatory system. Heart pumps blood to all parts of the body through the blood vessels. The nervous system consists of the brain, the spinal cord, and the network of nerves. The digestive system starts at the mouth and gets fully underway in the stomach. It is completed in the large intestine. All parts of the body work harmoniously to keep the body healthy and alive and keep it in motion. Did you understand the informational text, kids? Let's check by answering the questions. Give the letter of the correct answer in each question. Number 1. In the informational text, the body is compared to A. A. System B. Machine C. Statue Great job! The correct answer is A. System. Number 2. The bones are made up of what system? A. Circulatory system B. Skeletal system or C. Nervous system Amazing! The right answer is letter B. Skeletal system Number 3. At birth, a baby has about how many bones? A. 206 B. 350 or C. 150 Awesome! The right answer is letter B. 350 Number 4 the lungs and the windpipe form of what body system? A. Circulatory system B. Skeletal system or C. Respiratory system Fantastic! The correct answer is letter C. Respiratory system Now, Look at the informational text again. Here are the additional questions about it. Number 5. Who wrote the selection? Incredible! 
your answer is correct. The author of the selection is Concordia C. Logue. Number 6. What is the selection all about? 9. Nice. The selection is all about the body systems. Number 7. What does the author tell us? Great job! The author tells us that all parts of the body should work together for us to be healthy and alive. Did you get the right answers too, Elise? Yes, teacher! I got them too! Great job! Oh, there you are again, Zina. Yes, I'm back! Alright, Elise, go with Gina for now and I'll read the other reference materials we have here. See you later! Gina, I want to write on top of the book too! Okay, hop in! Now, tell me about what you learned from Teacher Joy, Elise. I learned that we can get information from different reference materials. Can you give me examples of reference materials then? Examples of reference materials are autobiography, instructional manuals, newspapers, and even textbooks which I use in school. Elise, you have more to learn about informational texts. I want to learn them, Gina! Let's go to Teacher Joy to know them. Teacher, Elise wants to learn more about informational text. Okay, Gina, Elise, come down here. Thank you, teacher. Bye for now, Elise. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. Elise. Another knowledge you should learn about informational text is its elements. Elements of informational text? Yes, as well as identifying the source or sources where the information came from or where you read it. I want to learn them all! Well then, listen carefully. Kids, look at this picture. These are pictures that show extreme pollution not only here in our country but all over the world. We can see water pollution, air pollution, and land pollution. Now, let's read this informational text about pollution from Pinterest, an American image sharing and social media service designed to enable saving and discovery of information on the internet. There are lots of environmental problems nowadays, mainly because of pollution. It is the contamination of air, water, and soil by different materials that interfere with human health and quality of life. The emissions from industries and engines including cars, are big causes of air pollution, and simple things that we do at home, like using aerosols, have bad effects on the ozone layer, which protects life on Earth from ultraviolet radiation. Water and land are also suffering from pollution by domestic, municipal, and industrial waste. It is up to us to stop damaging the environment. We all should be environment friendly. Let's talk about it kids by answering the questions. Number one, what is the text about? Incredible, the text is about pollution. Number two, what information can we get from the text? That was great! 
the information that we can get from the text is what pollution means and how pollution occurs in air, water, and soil. Number 3. What is the author's message? Wonderful! The author's message is that it is up to us when this destruction of our environment will stop. Saving the environment lies on our hands. We all should be environment friendly. Kids, let us study the diagram. Can you read what's written inside the cloud? Awesome! There are lots of environmental problems nowadays, mainly because of pollution. This sentence is the most important information about the topic. It tells what the text is all about. This is called the main idea. Main idea is the most important information about the topic in an informational text. What about the sentences inside the boxes? Let us read them all. It is the contamination of air, water, and soil by different materials that interfere with human health and good quality of life. The emissions from industries and engines, including cars, are big causes of air pollution. And simple things that we do at home, like using aerosols, have bad effect on the ozone layer, which protects life on Earth from ultraviolet radiation. Water and land are also suffering from pollution caused by domestic, municipal, and also industrial wastes. Kids! These sentences are called supporting details. Supporting details are the specific information or specific details in an informational text. The main idea and supporting details are considered as the elements of an informational text. Here is another informational text from Get Ahead to English Textbook, page 81. Blue whales are the largest animals on earth. They measure up to 100 feet long and weigh up to 200 tons. Their tongues alone can weigh as much as an elephant and their hearts as much as a car. Blue whales reach this magnificent size by eating tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. An adult blue whale eats about 4 tons of krill a day. Can you identify the source, the main idea, and the supporting details of this informational text? Great! It's time to show what you've got! Number 1. What is the source of the informational text? You made it! The source of the informational text is Get Ahead English 2 Textbook, page 81. Number 2. What is the main idea of the informational text? Great job! The main idea of the informational text is Blue whales are the largest animals on Earth. Number 3. What are the supporting details of this informational text? Amazing! The supporting details of the informational text are They measure up to 100 feet long and weigh up to 200 tons. Their tongues alone can weigh as much as an elephant and their hearts as much as a car. Blue whales reach this magnificent size by eating tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. An 
adult blue whale eats about 4 tons of krill a day. Two thumbs up for you! You did a great job! Welcome to Exploring English with Liz. Welcome to Exploring English with Liz. Let's read another informational text from Developing Reading Power. Trees by Regina R. Condes. Trees are one of the most important things on earth. Trees give us food, clothing, and shelter. Medicine also comes from some trees and plants. Trees absorb water through its roots and send out water vapor through its leaves, thus making the air around us much cooler. Forest trees regulate the flow of water and keep our rivers and streams supplied with groundwater all year round. They also prevent excess water from flowing and flooding low-lying areas, which destroy homes and farms. Let's first answer these questions about the informational text. Number 1. Who is the author of the informational text? Amazing! The author of the informational text is Regina R. Condes. Number 2. What do trees give us? Choose your answer from the choices. A. Water, candies, and meat. B. Food, clothing, and shelter. C. Appliances and Gadgets Nice one! The correct answer is letter B. Trees give us food, clothing, and shelter. Number 3. How do trees absorb water? A. Through its roots B. Through its leaves C. Through its fruits. Incredible! The correct answer is letter A. Trees absorb water through its roots. This time, identify the source, the main idea, and the supporting details of the informational text. Again, it's time to show what you've got! Number 4. What is the source of the informational text? Success! The source of the informational text is Developing Reading Power. Number 5. What is the main idea of the informational text? Great job! The main idea of the informational text is Trees are one of the most important things on earth. Number 6 What are the supporting details of the informational text? Incredible! The supporting details of the informational text are Trees give us food, clothing, and shelter. Medicine also comes from some trees and plants. Trees absorb water through its roots and send out water vapor through its leaves. Forest trees regulate the flow of water and keep our rivers and streams supplied with groundwater all year round. They also prevent excess water from flowing and flooding low-lying areas which destroy homes and farms. Nice work! You got all the right answers! 
Teacher, I got all the right answers too. Nice one. Elise, I want to show you something. Look at this. Do you know what this symbol means? What's that symbol for, teacher? This is the universal recycling symbol. Recycling? Yes. To know more about it, listen carefully to the informational text from the Google about recycling. Recycling is the process of collecting and processing materials that would otherwise be thrown away as trash and turning them into new products. Recycling can benefit your community and the environment. It is very important in our lives because the waste we create is increasing all the time. The rise in population means that there are more people on the planet to create waste. Recycling helps to decrease the waste. Did you understand the text? Let us find out. It's time to show what you've got. Help Elise press the right button. Press true button if the sentence is true and the false button if it is not true. Number one, recycling is very important in our lives. Amazing! The sentence is true. Number two, recycling helps increase pollution. Great job! The sentence is not true, so the answer is false. In fact, recycling helps decrease pollution because some things are made into something useful again. Number 3. Recycling is a waste of time. Incredible! The sentence is also not true. So the answer is false. Recycling is a worthy activity to do. Number four. Recycling turns trash into new product. Awesome! The sentence is true. Great job, Elise! Great job, kids! That was amazing! Thank you, teacher! There's Dina! Hi, Elise! Hi, Dina! Teacher, may I go with Dina now? Of course, Elise! Thank you, teacher! I learned so much today! That is nice to know, Elise! Thank you for joining me today! Thanks to you kids as well! Again, this is Teacher Joy! Bye! Bye, Elise! Bye, teacher! See you! See you again! I had fun in our exploration in English, Gina! Me too, Elise! We really learned and enjoyed so much! Thanks to you, my learning buddy! I hope we will have more learning activities together! Of course! That's for sure! I am even more excited now! Same here, Elise! But for now, it's time to rest! See you next time, Elise! Bye! Bye, Gina! See you next time!
Let's learn English. Welcome to Exploring English with Liz. Informational text prepares pupils like us to real life reading. Since informational texts are factual texts or non-fiction, they help us learn true and correct ideas about things and people. It is very important for us to know what is really happening around us. It is a must that the information we read or hear are true or facts. This is to avoid the spread of fake news. With everything that is happening right now, this is a simple way to help. Let us all read more. The more information and background knowledge we have, the stronger our comprehension and understanding skills will be. This is Elise. See you again as we explore the wonderful world of English. Bye!